why did I want to build furniture? I always get that question. And the reason is because I grew up basically uh, at the knee of my grandfather, Werner Martin. My dad and my stepdad, my mom, my stepmom, uncles, aunts, all of them had influences on my life without a doubt. Uh, but my granddad was that one, I think, that I looked at and thought, you know, I really like what he's doing. Like, why is he every day going out and, you know, doing all this cool woodwork? Why does he get to do that? That's amazing. As I got older, I realized, well, he chose to do it. That's what he wanted to do, and he went for it. There's a lot of people out there that want to go for their dream. There's a lot of people out there that have been through crazy things in their life and think, you know, I'd like to believe there's something more. And that's where I found myself. I quit my job in 2011, and I wanted to pursue this dream of building furniture and owning my own company with my wife. And that's what we did. I didn't move here thinking I was gonna be on TV. I didn't quit my job thinking I was gonna be on TV. I just wanted to build furniture. And along the way, I met people. And the next thing you know, we were all making this television show here in Waco, Texas called Fixer Upper. A lot of amazing things have happened, including getting to write this book, Handcrafted, and getting to film my own show with my wife and our team, Woodwork, and I'm super thankful for it. You may go out there and go for this dream and fall flat on your face, but guess what? So what? Get back up and try again. Um, that was the advice I was given. That's what I bought into wholeheartedly. And yes, it's worked out for me. I had no idea I was going to end up getting a chance to write a book and be on TV. I did it because I wanted to believe that there was more to this life than just the one way that we've always been taught to do it. And I found that that's true. There are more ways to live this life.